everybody. So we made it. We made it. We're here at Rhythmia in Costa Rica. And um, we had some technical difficulties. So what we did was we put on some drums. And we did what we know how to do best. Which is, is dance. Is to dance. <laughs> so we invite you just to take a moment as we wait for a few other people to join our dance maybe get up and shake something out because we have to shake some, you know, issues with technology here. We were supposed to start at three and my dear soul brother here, Carrie, right. I said, why don't we put some music on and just like <laughs> dance? And he's like, you know what? That's exactly what we should do, right? Yeah, let's raise that vibration up. <laughs> well, I think that's good. I think we've been dancing for quite a while. I think so, I'm warmed up. What about you? I'm really <laughs> good. All right, DJ. All right. <laughs> ah, so now we can take one deep breath together. Exhale out. Ah, and how about you with us? Take a deep breath in. Ah, we made it. We're here. <laughs> Never too late to come and share. I've got my miracle. Yes, thank you for your patience. <laughs> thank you for your patience and thank you for joining. And so it's such an honor to be sitting here and to witness and to have everyone else be of great support and witness to, wow, it's your third time here at Rhythmia. My third time, and guess what? It's not gonna be my last. Exactly. I'm going to make this uh, an annual journey to start each year. You know, what you shared was so powerful that each and every time you have showed up here, you've gotten your miracle. Yes. And this is the first time that you actually get to go live I know, right? And it's exciting to share. Yeah, and you really, you, you voiced how perfect and how you used the word synchronistic today when we had a chance to kind of do a miracle. So let us know, tell us. Well, yeah, it's, it's synchronistic because this environment supports the, the most beautiful uh, synchronicities um, because everyone here is, um, is focused on that and focused on their healing and their journey uh, to heal and getting their miracle. Amazing. <laughs> and that, that beautiful, specific miracle this time. Why don't you go ahead and share what that miracle was? Yeah. And still is. Yeah. Well, you know, they say a, a miracle is but a shift in perspective. Or, and that's definitely what it's been for me. It's, it's been through layers and layers of a similar story. Mm -hmm. So uh, for me this year, very specifically, it had to do about... Uh, coming to terms with balancing both my masculine and feminine energies and because really all of my goal is is to come into my strength and my power um, in all areas of my life um, so it's it's a continual journey but it's one of both you know trying to balance your masculine energies and your feminine energies and really coming to terms as to what those are and what they mean um, so you know, feminine energies having to do with nurturing and caring and loving, um, healing energies, and also masculine, which I had to really understand what that meant, which is not so much how strong you are physically, but your strength of character and conviction and integrity. Um, so it really all came together this trip for me, and I'm excited to share it with everyone out there. Wow. You know, they say that. Um, 50% is in ceremonial space, and then 50% is when you go back home. Yeah. And so, what is and how does your trip? Well, I'm not, I'm not home yet, yes. <laughs> but I have. You have uh, plans. I know I have, your plans. Yeah, it's just because we had so much time to talk. Yes. To share the, the depth of, of commitment yes. and consistency. Well, first off, for me, it, it, it had a lot to do with journ journaling every night's experience because once you hit Wednesday, there's just so much happening that you can quickly forget what happened two days before. Um, that all helps you set clear intentions for when you go home to support that miracle. Because really, the greatest um, journey experience that you could have is once you go home. That's gonna be where, when you're gonna be tested because you're not in this beautiful, loving, supportive environment. And I'm up for that challenge. Yeah. So there's a, a few shifts in your physical reality that you're going home to um, commit to doing. Yes. Because you were seen through the miracle that you received here, 
how best to take that out into the world. Exactly. Yeah. And, and just really be confident in myself. I mean, so many of my other journeys to this point have been about self-love mm -hmm. and gaining confidence in myself. Yeah. And, and really what I've learned is that I am the essence of both masculine and feminine energies. And I'm happy about that. Uh, that's what gives me my strength and that's what makes me unique in this world. Wow, wow. <laughs> so the balance, the dance between the masculine and the feminine. Yes. yes. So how, how is that going to translate um, into some of the new things, some of the new things that you spoke about? I'd love for you to share that more. <laughs> well, you mentioned it, you said dance. And I always used to love to dance, but I think many people can relate. A lot of places you might like to go to dance are closed. Mm -hmm. But um, I realized that dancing helps me to shake out a lot of stiffness and rigidity that I hold in my body. And I can, guess what, I can turn up the music as loud as I want in my house and stomp as loud as I want. And that really uh, just helps me come to life. Amazing. And I'm going to commit to doing that um, every week. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. So also, you had a visitation. I did. <laughs> and I think you're, you're grabbing your phone to show everybody this visit. Yeah, I'll, I'll put this picture up there. Hopefully the camera can see it. But um, it was a very symbolic story. And often my journeys here are just that, very symbolic. So hopefully you can see that if I hold it up and let the camera focus a little bit. But I'll sort of tell you how that... Um, that night unfolded. Now I will say I did not edit this photo at all. Um, there you go, got it. So anyway, the, the medicine had called me to, to get up from my mat and go outside under these beautiful uh, Costa Rican skies and sort of go on a little, let's say, scavenger hunt of um, in my mind, masculine pursuits. So one of the first things it did was draw me to um, the outside uh, fire area. Mm -hmm. And here, instead of having downspout gutter, you have chains that come all the way down. And I notice uh, when I grab onto them, it's very grounding for my energy. And then they have rocks down beneath it so I can ground myself in the earth. And once I started doing that and breathing, then the music started playing and I was actually using the chains to make noises and to make music with and that was I just felt very creative to you know have had the thought to use really anything as music Wow! Um, so that was the first bit of the journey and it ended with me behind that space where there is a wall and I saw my shadow but not only did I see my shadow, but I saw a highlight line that you may have seen in that photo going all the way down the center of my body. And I noticed that it wasn't quite in the center. And I shifted until it was exactly in the center of my body. And to me, that was the perfect symbolism for finding the balance between both masculine and feminine energies, which makes us all whole and, and one and where my power ultimately lives. I mean, it's... A miracle was like captured on your camera. The miracle of the balance of the masculine and feminine, yeah. that's confirmation. It really and is. And I find that to be like so, uh, so humbly respectful from spirit to give you that gift so that you can trust and have faith in the unseen, which yeah. became very seen. Exactly, like I did not take that picture that evening and I wondered if it was all in my head or would it be there the next day if I came back at a similar time and tried to take a picture. So the funny thing is, it, that highlight line was there and obviously my shadow appeared, but what I wasn't expecting is the photo to come out even more powerful with more of an aura around it than was that the experience that night. Yeah. yeah so that really is gonna help me anchor the experience, something I can always look back on and remember what really became part of my miracle. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Wow. So, how else do you feel that the Rhythmia Way supported you in getting this miracle? I mean, besides just this sprawling, beautiful environment under 
the Costa Rican sun. I mean, in one part, it, it is like a vacation for me. It's how I like to start, start the year. Um, the other part is um, really establishing um, a beautiful journey um, to begin this, this new year, which we all are looking forward to after yeah. last year. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, I find that, you know, coming to, to Rhythmia and being able just to disconnect for a moment of time and yeah. really focus in community and working with the collective, with your higher mission and your soul's purpose is, is again, it's just in itself the miracle of life. Yeah. And I'm just curious with the Rhythmia way, with the, the different workshops for you, what yeah. would you like to share with them? Sure, I mean, it's, um, it's not the number one rated um, resort on TripAdvisor for nothing. This, right. There are thousands and thousands of people that comment similarly to what I'm about to say. And it's, it's not just about the plant medicine that you take for four evenings. It's about everything that supports the journey. It's, it's um, the breath work. It's the classes uh, where you get to share with other people and get feedback to reinforce um, you know, your experience. And uh, something that maybe doesn't get talked about as much is just getting together, whether it be with the other people at lunch or at the pool, and re we really become each other's counselors. You know, and one time maybe I'm listening to you, the next time you're, you're listening to me, and there's nothing, it's, it's often overlooked, but so powerful, it's just connecting to people that you don't know them one day, and by the time you leave, they're some of your best friends that you're committed to staying in touch with and helping support um, the miracles that you receive here. You know, it's it's incredible how um, you come as a quote unquote as a, as a stranger and then you become one big soul family. It's really true. I I've always uh, to this point have come to Rhythmia by myself, but I look back and say, oh yeah, I, I came there with a bunch of friends, <laughs> because after especially the first uh, breathwork session on Sunday or uh, the first plant medicine journey on Monday, it's such a connection, and that connection just continues to deepen. Um, with every day that you're here. And before you know it, it's Saturday or Sunday when it's time to leave. And guess what? I don't want to leave. <laughs> well, you haven't really left because you keep on coming back. That is right. True. That is this true. is his third time for people who are just chiming in right now. And so we thought this would be a, a perfect um, example of someone who is ever so committed to his healing process, his healing mm. journey. And you know, showing up each and every time and saying yes. And that yes brings you so far into really receiving that miracle. It does, and the universe supports that work. So when you're here and you're putting in the work with the classes or even a massage, you know, going to the spa and, and getting massage and relaxing to, to get yourself rested and refreshed and renewed for that night's journey. Um, to me, even though some of those journeys have been difficult in certain points, um, I miss them when I go home because they're the most, they're better than any dream that I have ever had. And, um, and I look to come back Let, again. Let's talk a little bit about okay. the, the, a little <laughs> bit about the, let's the, get into the it. challenge. You know, we have to go into the darkness um, when we do this work in order to retrieve the light. Yeah. And so why don't, why don't you share a little bit about that part of your journey? Yeah, I'm glad you asked that um, because I think a lot of us don't like to admit that we have any darkness. Mm -hmm. You know, that we're often said that we're light workers that come here and, and do this work. It, like I said, it's not easy. But um, yeah, I was committed in this journey um, because I actually got to bring a friend this time, my best friend. And I was committed to him knowing me Fully and wholly, 100%, um, and really o openly trusting someone to that level, really for one of the first times. And along with that was uh, a period where I had to apologize for something that I did. Um, it wasn't a major thing, but it was something that um, I had to ask for his forgiveness. And he gave me that forgiveness, and it was like a, a weight lifted off my shoulders and helped us to connect. Uh, and grow our friendship. You know, on that note, I'd like to voice that it's very powerful coming with a family member or a dear best friend, um, and yet you can come here and do the work on behalf yeah. of, of your family or friends. 
because when you work on yourself in this depth of way and enter into those challenging parts of you and you start to heal those parts of you, you're actually healing energetically lineages. Exactly. You know? And so it's, it's profound. Yeah, there were two families that were here this year, one with, uh, with three siblings, three brothers, of which they made me an honorary brother, um, and then the other family, uh, both a brother and sister who I became very close with, because of their families came here together. And to see that, to see that healing together uh, was a very beautiful thing. Well, you know, it goes back to the fact that um, our souls have been contracted to come here and do this work. And so just what you described now of that deep bond um, is, is precious and it so really beautiful. It's sacred. Yeah. And to, to witness that, to, you know, every evening to see them come together as a family and mm -hmm. heal as a family, um, I would just can only hope, you know, for my family to do something similar one day. Amazing. So what would you say to one of the very many viewers out there that would maybe say, oh, no, no, I'm scared of plant medicine. That's not for me. What would be a good wisdom uh, share, teaching, invitation that you could share? Well, first off, Rhythmia is not solely about plant medicine. So if you or your family member um, have some hesitation, that's okay. Come you still can get so much healing, even to a miracle status, just by doing breath work, uh, or any and all of these other combinations of healing therapies. So that's, that's one thing off the bat. But otherwise, I would say, don't be afraid. There, think positively about the miracles that have been noted um, and that have been talked about, and, um, and just breathe and let it go and trust the process. Uh, because that's exactly what has always worked out for me. <laughs> Such a beautiful whole person healing, Thank a divine you. merging of the masculine and feminine, ready mm. to go out into the <laughs> world and be a light warrior, a light worker, which he already is, you already yeah. are, and yet even more strong and ready for the next chapter of your life. That's true. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else you would love to inspire our wonderful um, movers and shakers over there? Well, I have to pay tribute to you as oh. uh, my dance instructor this week. Uh, doing our blindfolded dancing really was liberating and freeing, not just for me, but for so many of the other people here. So uh, I appreciate that, and I will keep on dancing. Yes. <laughs> Put that blindfold on at home uh, uh, and put on those drums that we dance yes. to. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was a beautiful week and I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for coming and sharing mm. your absolute divine miracle of life. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So thank you, everybody. Thank you for being patient with us. I want to thank Sylvia behind the scenes. <laughs> she so always much. just miraculously makes things work for everybody. So I want to honor her. And it's so precious to be here with you. Thank you, everyone. And oh, yes. And, and, and it, there is at the bottom there, right? There, if you would like to book, there's a number at the bottom. So do give us a call. And any question you have in your heart will be answered. We're here to serve. and for you to receive your miracle. Thank you. Get here, get to Rizia. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I think off. I need you to shut it off, so yeah, sorry. Mm, I enjoyed that. Right? Yeah.